G'day, Scavig here with another update for Atlas, and now we have another wipe upcoming. The season has been cut well and truly short, uh, as yeah, as expected, a whole bunch of stuff went wrong. Uh, the main thing that I can see that actually happened this particular time around was that uh, the taming rail attachments were able to cause items to duplicate. Uh, or at least upgrade and oh, there's all kinds of weird stuff going on. But duplicate items uh, and exploits were going rife this particular time around. Uh, some of the bigger companies got caught up in it and then we've seen mass bans across the board and uh, most of the uh, the big companies on PvP have just been taken out of the game completely and yeah there's a lot of people wondering what the hell is going to happen with that going on. But that's not really what, anything to do with the announcement, that's just kind of part of what fed into the reason why the wipe has actually occurred. Now. Uh, before we get down into some of the other parts of the wipe, uh, we'll have a look at the notes here. Uh, apparently the cow carts are coming. Uh, this has been a long requested thing on the, f the Discord. Uh, they constantly talk about this and there's a few people happy that it's coming. You can see the picture there, cow carts. They are apparently going to be a thing. The wipe itself is on the 30th of November, so less than a, well, just a bit over a week, really. Uh, and that's about it. Other than that, the changes that are coming as a result of the wipe, there's not really much in the way of fixes. I'm sure there'll be some patch notes later on, closer to the day, to tell us any stuff that they're actually patching. But they're going to be changing the server sizes. And this caused a massive uproar. I've been reading the uh, official Discord most of the day, and it just went ballistic. Nobody can seem to fathom the reason for the changes, although the, the, the reason is actually quite simple. But what's changing? The PvP server will be split into 10 different 3x3 servers, a mix of uh, North American and EU servers. So we've gone from like a 13x13 13 13 with regions and all the rest of that sort of stuff, and you're going to now have the option of joining one of 10 3x3s. The PvP servers will have no portals or regions, uh, there'll be a mix of the various different types of islands, there will be no power stones available so the quest content just won't be there and i understand why because i've got my own little 3x3 template that i've actually built which has regions has power stones has the more and the quest stuff takes up an enormous amount of space and as a result you basically uh, if you can condense it down to its smallest form you actually get a 2x3 which is the main region for your content and a 1x3 which has the kraken the power stones in one and a more in the other so you end up with a very very tiny amount of space to work with but even then um, i'm still not sure why they went with 10 3x3s and not say five servers which are a little bit bigger because when you have a look at the pve they're going to provide a single pve server which is 6x6 uh, located in the EU, apparently it was already in the EU. Uh, there'll be no regions or portals, so an open map once again. Uh, everything will be unclaimable lawless, so no claimable islands. And all the quest content will be there. And we asked the question, and we haven't got the answer yet, uh, whether the power stones will be condensed a little bit, put a couple of the power stone islands into the same grid just to save on space, because when you consider the nine different uh, grids that the power stones take up, the Kraken and the Moor, you're looking at 11 of the 6x6 has to be taken up by quest stuff. And so you lose a number of grids there as well. Um, but yeah, so PvP, why didn't they have five servers of 4x4 or four, five servers of 5x5 five five or whatever the, the mathematics works out to be? It's a little bit odd. Uh, and then again, also with the PvE server, right? Uh, if it's all unclaimable lawless, the pillar spam is, you know, you've got to anticipate it. It's just going to go off like, crazy right people are just going to get in there it's like oh well i want to save my island for myself i better cover this thing with pillars and so i'm expecting this band to be crazy unless they come up with some method for uh, dealing with that before they actually do these server changes now as you're probably thinking already it's like why on earth would they do such a thing it seems like they're trying to trash the game even more than they have already at least that's what the uh, the most common comment so far has been um the official statement regarding it at least from the community manager point of view uh, h2a melons what you can infer is that there are a number of changes in how they're running the the servers and they want to be able to test it and they're going to have to do it at some point so they have to downsize the servers create multiples of them so that they can test this new features of the server architecture at least i assume it's server architecture and experiment with it uh, but they don't have enough servers, at least they're not paying for enough servers to be able to maintain the full size servers as well as test out this new feature on multiple smaller servers. 
And so that is the official reason for why they're actually doing this. And it is a temporary thing. This single season will be this multiple server situation. Uh, and while we don't have an exact length, the, uh, the number bandied around on the Discord was basically a couple of months. But, you know, that's basically where it's at. Uh, as I said, everyone's kind of in an uproar basically looking at this being uh, a terrible, terrible thing to do to the player base. But they're doing it apparently so that they can test something out and then it'll be back to where it should be. Albeit that where they should be, we'll find out what that is. Uh, I want them to stop actually uh, putting any new... Well, I'd like to know what this feature is actually all about because when we looked at the roadmap last, uh, the roadmap showed a number of things that they're trying to work towards before the end of early access and I don't know how this feature fits within the roadmap. And so does that mean that this is a infrastructure feature is it meant to be part of the roadmap that they didn't tell us about or is it something brand new that's just been added into the mix in which case we're dragging out the end date by adding something else in anyway feel free to let me know down in the comments what you think uh, i've been very happy with the comments that were actually coming out on the season 10 roadmap video uh, quite a lot of people were well and truly uh, happy to engage both positive and negative and it's like, while I have a certain image in my head of what Atlas may or may not be, uh, I am following its progress until the end. I'm not looking to basically say they're the best ever, and I'm not looking to say that they're the worst ever. Uh, I'm just interested in seeing how the development actually comes out. So having a robust discussion about these things down in the comments or joining my Discord is always okay. Thanks for listening in. Listen to Scarvig, and I'll catch you in the next one.